Good morning, everybody. This is Mike Dashing Dink Dinkle, and we are door dashing on January 2nd. It's a Tuesday. We're in northern Minnesota, Bemidji, Minnesota, to be precise. And I'm going to start recording these videos, putting them together in a compilation, and putting them on YouTube. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for riding along with me, and hopefully we can make some good content. Bemidji, Minnesota is about two and a half to three hours south of the Canadian border. Uh, we're supposed to have a bunch of snow right now, but it's been an abnormally warm winter. So we don't have a lot of snow right now. We actually had a brown Christmas this year, which is something I've never seen up here. I've lived in Tennessee and had a brown Christmas. Uh, I've lived in a couple of other southern states and had a brown Christmas, but never in northern Minnesota, so it's kind of a interesting deal. But we're going to get started with DoorDash. I have not turned the app on yet because I wanted to do this introduction, but we're going to turn it on shortly and hopefully get some orders coming through. I see a couple of other dashers parked in the mall parking lot with me, so it must be slow out there. I hope you guys enjoy the content. I appreciate you coming along and we're gonna get started. Okay, just to let you guys know, we haven't got an order yet. I did turn the app on, but um, I also do Instacart. So this channel is gonna be DoorDash and Instacart. I am also signed up for Uber Eats. We don't have a lot of places in town that do Uber Eats. It is currently 8.08. So getting started a little bit later than I normally do, I try to get started around 7.30. Just to give you guys a quick rundown, my market of Bemidji, Minnesota, that's B-E-M-I-D-J-I, -I, Bemidji, Minnesota, is, well, it's a town of about 15,000, which doesn't seem like a lot. I think I counted it at one time for shopping and food delivery places, and it's like around 42 that use and utilize DoorDash. I think a couple more have been added since then. This was like two years ago. I've been dashing for quite a while now. But Minnesota is the land of 10,000 lakes. And in a circumference of 10 miles, that population probably at least doubles, maybe even a little bit more. Uh, which might seem like a lot, but there are a lot of people just outside of town that live on lakes and stuff. So, but uh, like I said, today we might not get a lot of in the restaurant or in the store content just due to the fact that it's difficult to carry two phones, have one recording and get groceries or get food and all that kind of stuff. So today will be more of an introduction. I'll take screenshots of my orders and I'll put them in the video, but. Did you know that feeling sluggish or way down could be a sign that All right, guys, we got our first order, 650 to go 4.9 miles from Starbucks. Um, I'm not sure what happened, but when we accepted that order, and I'll have to look at the screenshot, I'm positive it said 4.6 miles or something like that. And now I just picked up the order and it's telling me 6.6 .6 miles. So I don't know if I looked at it wrong,
Well, everyone, we just got an Instacart order that came across the phone for almost 50 bucks, $47.86. It was shopping for two people, 39 items at Aldi, and as quick as it got on the phone, it was gone. So we didn't get that one, unfortunately. That would have been a nice, nice shopping order. Would probably would have took me about an hour, hour and 10 minutes. We would have made 50 bucks, but it's gone, so. Okay, so this is a 550 from Starbucks. I'm not sure where it's going. It's six items. Um, oh, it's just going over by the clinic, so we'll take it. Um, I'll have to get a screenshot when it's done. I, I was off the screen, so when I went to click on it, I hit the, um, I hit the accept button. So I'll take a screenshot of that screen. It's this one here. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it's five fifty for Starbucks. So it just doesn't have the mileage on there, but it's just over by the clinic. We're gonna head to Starbucks. All right, gang, we got the Starbucks order for McKenzie. All right, we got Mackenzie's Starbucks delivered. We're gonna go ahead and complete that delivery and see if we can't get another one right away. Uh, another 550 for two miles from Starbucks. We'll go ahead and accept that. I mean, that's better than two bucks a mile, so. All right, I'm not sure. We got our Starbucks, but I know that last address was, was a handed to me, um, for that sports center for McKenzie. Well, now, now I've got a Megan and I think it's going to the same place. No, it's not. Uh, it's going across the street from that place. <laughs> five fifty one to go five point nine miles. This is headed south of town. But I'll go ahead and take it because if I go south of town, there's still restaurants down there. And it gives us the entire length of town to possibly get an order after this one's over. All right, everybody, we have an opportunity now to get orders from several different places because we're clear on the south end of town. All right, we've got 595 to go five miles for Dollar General. I'm gonna take a quick screenshot. And I'm gonna go ahead and take it So we've got two Mountain Dew, 1.25 liters, orange juice, and milk. So all liquids. This should be an easy one. All right, everyone, that took us a minute and 23 seconds. This is 850 going 4.7 miles from McDonald's, but this is the South McDonald's, and we're on the north end of town. So it's not going to be very far once we pick up the order. So let's head to McDonald's South.
see you guys there. All right, everyone, we got Leanne's order dropped off, and immediately, that was for $8.50, but immediately we got this $6.25 plus to go 2.3 miles at McDonald's. So we're going to go ahead and accept that. All right, everyone, we've got Stephanie's order in the hot bag. It is a heavy, heavy McDonald's bag, nine items. And I believe it's going just over here to this hotel. All right, everyone, we got Stephanie's McDonald's dropped off. It was going to go to 559, so the fifth floor of this hotel. Luckily, <laughs> she just happened to be outside, and she said, is that for Stephanie? I said, it certainly is, and she goes, well, that just happens to be me. Look at that. We went from 625 plus to 1450. Thank you, Stephanie, so much. That is wonderful. A $12.50 tip. Wow. That was super, super nice. All right, everyone. I just accepted a McDonald's order. $5 going like 1.6 or something like that. I took a screenshot of it. It wasn't very far. Say McDonald's, I had to do a quick U-turn because I just got past it when it came through. <laughs> All right, everybody, we got our McDonald's for Kenna. And I picked up some McDonald's coffee while I was there. I decided since I was on this end of town that I would go ahead and um, drop off a couple packages that my wife needed uh, brought to the post office. And as soon as I got ready to pull into the post office, I took a screenshot of it, but we got an offer for $16.07 to go 5.7 miles from Duncan. Okay, I I could have been mistaken, but I thought it said 5.7 miles, and it says 8.3 miles from Duncan. And I know where this is going. I've actually been to this place many times. Um, so I don't know if it happened again, where. It showed me one mileage when it came in and then shows me a completely different mileage after I picked it up because I did look at that one earlier today from Starbucks and it did say four point something and then it went to six point something. Or if I just misread it. I haven't looked at the screenshot yet, but either way, this eight miles for 1607, it's still two bucks a mile. I'm doing it. Like I said, I've been to this place many times a good customer they always pay really well so we're going for a little cruise
Okay, I want to show you something. I don't know if anyone else has this issue with their DoorDash app. Um, I have an Android phone, but so I just completed that order for 1607. And you see my top there, it says zero, zero, zero. Now I physically have to go to the main screen and then hit return to dash. And now it says 1607. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that happens to me all the time. Like it doesn't add it up until either it goes to another order screen or you'd go back to the main screen. So I don't know. It bugs me that it does that. Like sometimes it will, but in this particular instance it did not and it that happens to me more times than it doesn't um, and I don't know if that's just a, a a DoorDash bug or glitch or if it has something to do with an Android phone versus an iPhone or you know what what the issue is I, I don't know but I'm just curious if anyone else has that. Um, if you do, or if you, you know, know any suggestions to fix it or deal with it. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but leave your comments down below. Let me know. All right, everyone. Um, I just declined a $3 for like 2.6 miles from McDonald's. <laughs> DoorDash, you've been good all day long, and you give me a $3 one. All right, everyone, we just got an offer through Instacart for $22.79. It's for two shop and deliver orders, 35 items, 49 units at Aldi for 11.2 miles. I'm going to hide that one for now and throw it in the queue. It's just not quite good enough yet. All right, we just got an offer of $4.50 to go 2.9 miles from Burger King. Okay, we've got our Burger King in hot bag. All right, everyone, we just dropped off Lena's Burger King order. And as I was walking back to the car from the front door, we received a $12.28 for four miles going to Walgreens to pick up, I think it was seven items. All right. <sighs> we got our shopping pay done. However, they were out of two of the items that the customer wanted. And they did not have any substitutions, so they were just quite simply refunded All right, everyone, now DoorDash is just being funny. Uh, just declined a 479 for 10.1 miles from Duncan. So we went from 77 down to 76 again. But yeah, I'm not doing 479 for 10 miles. That's like not even 50 cents a mile. All right, guys, while I was offline there, I, um, I stopped at a local pizza joint named Keith's and they do pizza by the slice. So I stopped and I got a slice of pie and something to drink. 
And while I was in there, I received and accepted uh, $4.50 to go like 1.2 miles from Country Kitchen. So we are on our way to Country Kitchen. I haven't even had a bite of my pizza yet. <laughs> All right, quick status update, everyone. We accepted that Country Kitchen for 450. I think it was going 1.2 miles or something. And then while I was at Country Kitchen uh, picking up that order, uh, they stacked me with uh, KFC for an additional four dollars and fifty cents and an additional 0.6 miles. Okay, we got. Sandra's Country Kitchen dropped off. That was at a smoke shop. Then we got Jameson's, or excuse me, Sandra's KFC dropped off. Then we got Jameson's Country Kitchen dropped off. And now I just received a 550 for two point some miles. Can't quite remember. All right, guys, we got Tracy's Country Kitchen delivered. And I just went over some quick numbers. It wasn't a great day. We did two and a half hours this morning and two hours this afternoon for lunch. And we ended at 1.04 and some change. $21, $22 an hour. I mean, not bad. I'll take it. I want to thank you guys for subscribing to the channel, liking, commenting, uh, leaving any feedback and stuff. Again, I want to thank you guys. I'm going to get this thing posted and we'll go from there. So have a great day. Enjoy your new year. And um, thanks for riding along. I really appreciate it. Y'all have a great day.